Welcome back everyone to entry level motorsport. Now that the cage is done, I can kind of focus on the next stages of, of the car and the build. Um, the main thing that I want to try and get nailed, because it's been driving me insane for a long time, is the gear selector. So let's crack on and see what we can get done. So this gearbox is from an Audi A4 or Volkswagen Passat. They're the same gearbox, same family of gearbox. So originally the car would have been front wheel drive, not transverse mounted like most front wheel drives. This is a front wheel drive car, longitudinally mounted with a transaxle behind it. So the old saying with the Audis, with the engine all the way through the headlights, that sort of thing, that's where it comes from. Um, so perfect for what we want to do, because it's a transaxle, brilliant for mid-engine vehicles. Um, the only issue with that is the gear stick is in the wrong place. I'll kind of explain, let's have a look. So I guess this is about where the, where the gear stick would be in relation to the gearbox in real life. Um, behind it, obviously where I want to put it is in here, which is in front of it. Um, that's not from a Passat, that's from a, this is a gear stick from a Fabia. Um, it's got the same pattern as a Passat or Audi A4, um, but it's a cable jobby. A Passat has the um, like rods, and obviously that's no good for what we're doing. So we're going to try and adapt the, the cable jobby. I'm going to show you my plan of trying to work it, and then we'll go from there. So this is the rod on the, um, the back of the gearbox, the selector rod to select the gears. Um, it does left and right, so that's your, as if you had your gear stick, you're going left and right in the gate and then in and out so you can pick which gear so that's as far as I'm aware that's neutral and then that way uh, and that way will be first second third fourth fifth or that's all opposite does that make sense because when you when you push the, hang on, it'd be better if I show you the gear stick. Oh. So when you push this forward to go into like second, for example, that rod on the back goes in the opposite direction. Does that make sense? So it's kind of going to be a little bit of a guesswork. Um, but I've got two choices on how I do this. I either run, I either run four cables and only have them pulling. So every single motion that cable is pulling, which is kind of a bit of a pain. Or I go for cables that do a push-pull, so like a push-pull cable. Um, then I'm relying on the force of the cable not to squish up in the, the, the what's it called, Bowden cable. The, you've got an outer and an inner, you're relying on that cable not getting squashed, because obviously it's got quite a bit of force to push on something. Um, I've got to measure first, so I'm going to measure to see the length of cable that I need, and I'm going to try and run with two. So a push-pull cable, so it pushes and pulls it sideways, and push and pulls it backwards and forwards. Um, so we'll try and do that. So I guess that's kind of about in the car where it wants to be. This is all complete. I can change all this, so it's not like this is set in stone. Um, the idea, my original idea, was to try and run a cable back down the centre and underneath, but. I want to make the cable go forwards like it would have done originally so nothing gets complicated so obviously there will be a dash bar going across here so my plan is is to go up up in the center console because there'll be a center like piece blocking your legs off from each other along the inside of the dash and then we'll run underneath this cable what i'm going to do is so if you remember the old um the old cable from the ramp that we broke so that's the very broken bit so I've cut the very broken bit off and I've given myself a lovely long thick piece of steel wire that will do a really good job of of showing me the, the like the big curves that a Bowden cable would need to take. Does that make sense? So obviously up behind the dash along and then it will run under here around here and then it's going to go there'll be a panel on here so you won't see it so it'll go up and it'll run along the back side of this pipe here, this tube, and then we'll come down somehow, kind of do something over here to get us in the right position for there. Whether we have a lever doing the pulling, like a 
we'll see. That will give me the correct length to buy the right length Balgam cables. Um, and then at least I can kind of, I'll probably add a little bit of slack just so that I've actually got the, the right amount perfectly. Um, you can always have a little bit more, can't really have it too short, so we'll go for a little bit more. Um, so we'll measure up and go from there. So I'm about half an hour in and plans are slightly changed already, so let's go over it. So uh, this is all obviously temporary because I'm just trying to work at make it work and once I've made it work I'll get some bits laser cut so this bit of off cut that I had wasn't quite long enough but a couple of washers that's held that in the right place obviously it'll get strengthened at the side to stop it from twisting slightly it's, a, it's like two mil I think it is it's not too bad um, I've drilled and tapped the the shaft there and I've put a bolt in it obviously that's temporary again but at this length this bit here moves 10 mil which is about 10 mil either direction um, I worked out, hang on, let me find the gear stick. So, in here, the forward and back motion, I've had to work out the length of that, so that's, I measured that at 60 mil, and then the side to side motion, including going into, obviously you've got a, you've got a reverse gate that it goes into here. So the side to side motion is not anywhere near as much as the it makes this one here, if you look, it makes this one here go forward and back. So side to side, makes that go forward and back. But that travel there, over the whole length, including reverse, is 40 mil. So I go back over here. So I've got a cable to get from one side to the other that's going to travel 40 mil. This only moves a total of 20 mil. So I need to make a pivot on here longer one way than the other as an offset center pivot so that as the when the cable pulls 40 mils worth it only moves a total of 20 mil um, so i've kind of worked out now that to do that one cable is going to have to come from this direction and then the other cable will come around here so the cable to do the in and out will come around the passenger side and the cable to do the side to side will come around the driver side just so that it actually, because if I put a pivot there, you see, like that, and then the cable came from this side, it would do the opposite of what you would, so everything the gear stick did, it would be mirrored. So if you want to go left and forward into first, it would actually be going right and forward into fifth. So it has to come, the cable has to come from that direction to give the, the opposite of whatever that wants to do. Sound confusing enough yet? I'm very confused. So it's about three weeks later after I made the intro to this video, uh, lots has changed. Um, still working on the gear selector, but on and off, the weather's been nice, so haven't really been in the workshop because it's quite hot. But I think we've got somewhere, so let's have a little look and see how we got on. So first thing that I, didn't, I did wrong, the select pattern from a Fabia is not the same as a Passat. Um, reverse on a Passat is down below fifth. So on a Fabio you've got four gates across, whereas a Passat you've only got the three because it drops down. Um, not a problem because the, the gear stick doesn't have gates in it, the actual gearbox does, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I've changed to a, a knob with no pattern on and we'll show you what we've done. So, oh, here we go. So obviously as you remember last time I had a plate here, um, Basically, I was trying to work out the throw and the, the distance needed to get it to, to actually go. I mean, you can see the, the amount of attempts I had to get it in the right position and all that stuff. So we've worked out roughly where it's going and I've made a bit of a better job of it there. Obviously, Jubilee clip will change. This is just temporary. Um, and this, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. Um, obviously, this cable here is a bit annoying stuck out the back but i am planning on having spare wheels um on the back of the car so hopefully that'll cover it up but um these are boat control cables so you can pop into your local chandlery i think that's how you say it and um you can buy these these are 13 footers so i've got two 13 foot cables and they both run all the way to the front so i'll have a look see what we've done at the front so standard gear selector you push it up and down 
for it to go into reverse and to drop into the reverse gate. So hang on, just slack this, hit this strap off a minute. So I've not bolted it down yet, mainly because I don't really know where it's going to be positioned. So I'll just strap it in place so it's fixed, kind of. Um, so the first thing I did, if you look under here, hang on, you can oh, look, I've got a before and after. <laughs> so the standard one, uh, this bit here is a hook and it hooks into this channel once you push it down to for reverse. Um, rever I needed as much left and right on the gear stick as I could to get into the gate on the gearbox. So obviously when you push it that way, that, that hook's hitting it. So what I did on this one was I just simply cut it off. So there's no hook, there's no, there's no gate for reverse as such. Um, I literally just lopped it off. And then what I did was I drilled a hole for here popped a roll pin in it, and that stops it from going up and down, so it's just a fixed gear stick. Um, I, so the reason I got this one was because I needed the cables. Um, I needed the cables because I needed these ends, which are the correct factory fitted ends. The plan is that anything I do, I don't want to have, like I was going to just weld this end onto the, um, the boat control cable, but then that's kind of fixed in there then. And then if I need to reuse that end, I can't just unbolt it and all that sort of stuff. So this is a piece I turned down the lathe um, and then I put the right thread in the end for that. And then this is an interference fit inside here. So it's a different size hole on the other end. And I even had to, it was so tight, I had to just uh, emery cloth the anodize off the actual piece here. And then this is just a M3 set screw wound in through there and then and then through the first part just as a, like a grub screw almost um, I will when I finish I will cut this off flush but for now and that holds both them in so obviously this is a I think that shaft was five mil and that shaft was six mil so they're both different um, but the idea is, is if I screw anything up I can or if I break a cable for example this unscrews and then I just buy another 30 foot cable and it will fit um, this end here so I've got a picture, I'll put a picture up of these when they're not in situ. These are the same groove in there and the factory fitted clips. Um, and then that the reason it's not the same thickness all the way is because I didn't have a piece of that bar long enough. This bar is too small. I didn't have a piece of that long enough to make the two. You see, one's longer than the other because, because these two clips are staggered. So the idea is, it's not finished at the moment, inside there, I'll show you the other end, because it probably makes more sense then. So as you see, there's a groove on these pieces. So the idea is, that groove is in there somewhere. So I've got to do basically trial and error really. And I'm gonna drill three holes through, and then I'll tap that, and then I'll use an M3 set screw as a grub screw basically to hold that end of the cable again so that I can take this out and replace it if I break a cable or anything like that I can just go and buy the same exact cable for I think it were 35 quid each and then I don't have to do anything I just undo the set screws take that out job's done um, so I kind of need to work out where they go but it does these cables will obviously be lifted up so the passenger's feet will come underneath them um, they both curve round and then they're going to run underneath this bit of cage here. That's the plan anyway. So it does work. It, I can't really show you because I'm only one person at the moment, but that slides in and out. And then there's your left and right done by the other cable, which is kind of nice because when you do, when you do left and right on the gear stick, it pulls, it pulls that cable, so pulling that cable and then pushing it which is kind of nice. So, um, pretty much gear selectors are done, which I didn't think I'd ever say, if I'm honest. It's been a long time coming, but finally got them nailed. I'm quite pleased. Um, I've just got to work out like where to put those grub screws. The nice thing about having that piece of alley bar with a hole in is if they're in the wrong place, I just re-drill them somewhere else and then I can have like a staggered assortment of screw holes. So, and then I can just mark them with a pen so I know which ones they got to go back in. So that's kind of nice. I can just drill it as many times as I want 
just to move it slightly, which is cool. Um, the other bits I needed to sort out, obviously this is a bit of a bodge. As you can see, I've just pinched it between a bent washer and a flat washer. Um, so I want to try and make some sort of alley, again, a piece of alley with, so I can grub screw it in. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with that yet. Currently it's just a jubilee clip. I did get a, like, a little rose joint in there. You can see where I've been drilling hole, but I had no rose joint originally. I just drilling holes to work out the correct length for it. And this isn't finished yet, so I've got to modify that to make it pretty. But there we go. Gear selectors for a sat gearbox, which is your sat in front of, which is normally operated by rods. So I think that's a success. Um, I'll get it working in the next video. So you can see it all working. I'll, Jamie's moved house, so um, he's not down to help me at the moment, but I'll get him to video while I operate the gear lever. Then you guys can see it working properly. So I'm really pleased it's all done. Thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out, it makes us feel warm and fuzzy inside. And uh, see you next time. Cheers, guys. So I know I've already done the outro to the video, but I stayed on a little bit longer and managed to get a few more bits done. So I don't know if you can see these holes here. So if you remember, I showed you on the, the actual cable, it's got a little groove. I'll show you on the other one, hang on. That little groove in there, which is about three and a half mil across. So what I've done is, I've drilled loads of holes, all just to, for like an adjustable length, and then tapped them all M3, and then put these little M3 set screws. And those set screws just drop into that groove and stop the, the sheath from sliding backwards and forwards. Obviously, once I've worked, I've, I've pretty much got it nailed now, but once it's definitely in the right position, I will be drilling extra ones to put like three or four set screws into the same groove from, from all the way around the the bit of alley just so it's a bit stronger because don't really want to rely on one little m3 to do it but that is it so these cables will be lifted up so that the passenger's legs can go underneath them so this will be up underneath the behind the dash um, and that is your gear sector so I'll get the the old man's down here tinkering with his car so i'm going to get him to hold the camera for me so there's your side to side on the gear stick Forward and back, so you've got first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and reverse. So, so that's all very nice, and it works. I haven't bought this down yet because I don't know the position of it. I've just cabled the bracket, strapped it in so that I can hang on it. But there we go. We've converted a gearbox into cables made them nice and long